Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So I'm assuming my channel is filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So today, let's take it back to the basics and talk about our overhand serve. Let's get right into it. that is used in volleyball typically when you get to that junior high high school and collegiate level we want to learn how to overhand serve because it's not only going to help us be the best player that we can be but when we start learning it even if you're not at one of those levels it can help you later on so it's not as difficult so let's talk about overhand serving four when we're overhand serving a lot of us really have a, don't have a great understanding of how our arm should be I've seen players who start here. I've seen players who come and they start out here. But what we really want is we want our shoulder at that 90 degree angle. So that way we can open our shoulder up to get the best range of motion possible. Range of motion is the available range that your shoulder has to access when swinging. So let's get a closer up shot of what this shoulder looks like. So I'm opening up that shoulder. I'm not here. I'm not here, I'm here. So when I come all the way through, I can feel the accessible range from that shoulder. Now with our non-dominant arm, I'm right-handed, so I have my right hand back, my left hand forward. If you were left-handed, you would have your left hand back and your right hand forward. Do we see that? Right-handed, left-handed. Now, one of the things that I see often that players do is when they're tossing, they'll toss all the way down and try to come back up. That's something that we want to prevent happening. We don't wanna come all the way down and come back up. We wanna simply toss from where we are and up so that way we can step into the ball. Tossing from where we are and up. Where we are and up. Where we are and up. Because when you go down, now I have to come back up and then I have to somehow meet the ball. So where we are and up. That is the second key. So the first key is getting into that form. We're talking about upper body right now. The second key is doing that toss. The third key is stepping into it and coming all the way through. Stepping into it and coming all the way through. We want to hit the ball at the highest point. That means that I'm not gonna wait for the ball to drop all the way down before I contact it. I'm not gonna contact the ball when it's all the way up in the sky. I'm gonna wait until the ball, when I step right back into it, my hand should be meeting the ball. So let's talk about the form all together as one movement. The word of the day today is synergy. Synergy means everything working together in unison. We want our volleyball form when we're serving to be one combined movement. So my body all together. Now here, we're not gonna serve like this. This is not accessing that available range. Nothing will happen here, okay? We want to stagger our feet. Your non-dominant leg, left foot, left arm, right, and we're gonna turn our hips facing outward. Why do you think it's a good idea to turn my hips facing outward? So that way when I serve, my hips come in when I'm swinging. When I serve, my hips come in when I'm swinging. I have seen players who come and they start here, but then you're also not accessing that full available range. So. Key one, when you're about to serve, you come up to the line. Key one, we're gonna stagger our stance. We're gonna open up our arm, that's part of key one. Key two, you toss it. Key three, you come all the way through. Now, it's important to note my arm went all the way through. When we're doing the standard float serve, that's when we can stop, like we're doing a high five. But right now, we're just talking about the standard serve in general. We're gonna come all the way through. I toss up, and I come all the way through. I'm opening my shoulder. I'm here. I toss up. I come all the way through. That is some of the things that we want to work on when we're doing 
not over in her. In the following videos, we'll talk about some more really minute, small things that you can do if your serve isn't going over or you need some more assistance trying to get your serve over. But right now, let's work on that form. Work on getting your hips outward, your arm up, and let's try to really try to manifest and do that form so that way you can get used to it. With everything, I hope that you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.